What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and as you can tell right now my room is becoming a storage room for the wedding actually. We uh, have a vintage theme so that in the background is going to be uh, in the wedding. It's a chair you know like I said uh, in my video with Bailey she's been just going off with getting a lot of good stuff for the wedding and uh, the YouTube room has been suffering from the storage uh, of the wedding stuff, but that's okay. Just a little bit of stuff in the background. I mean, you got that picture frame back there, too. There's another chair behind that chair. We're gonna have hella chairs at the wedding for our vintage theme, and it's gonna be pretty badass. I'm really excited to get married to my best friend. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Treve getting married. We're here to talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars, ladies and gentlemen, in a new position group to preview. It is Monday, so as always, we are previewing a new position for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into 2019. Now, this position group we're previewing this week is probably the least interesting position group to talk about for the Jaguars because there's really no star power. You know, none of these guys are real X-Factor players, but we are going to discuss them anyway because it is going to be kind of a competition to see who starts, and of course that position group is the tight ends. And this week on the channel, we're going to be featuring a subscriber, Trey All Around 2, or Point 2, one or the other, I don't know how he'd like to be called, but he will be hopping on the channel on Wednesday. He won the contest, picked the number I was thinking of, and ended up being able to be on the channel. So it's going to be an exciting time to have a subscriber on the channel to discuss his takes on the Jacksonville Jaguars. But as of today, we are just going to be talking about the tight ends, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, this is the Jaguars 2019 Positional Outlook for the tight ends. One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, for that. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. So instead of like the past where I have broken down every player in each position group and kind of given them an overall grade as a prospect and gone over what they do well and what they don't do well, I decided to kind of just lump all four of these tight ends into kind of one segment. So we're going to talk about them a little bit individually, but we're going to be kind of talking them more as a group and as a unit. Because as of right now, you know, this is going to change during training camp, I'm sure. But as of right now, none of these tight ends are really you know, separating themselves from who is going to be the starter in 2019. You know, last year, the Jags really wanted to draft a tight end. You know, they wanted a guy like Mike Gazicki, you know, those types of guys that came out last year. And this year, the Jags probably would have drafted TJ Hawkinson in the first round if uh, Josh Allen didn't fall the way to seven. So we could have had Hawk, but we decided to settle on Josh Oliver in the third round. Now, with these guys and what they bring to the table, they all are very similar. Uh, the Ben Koyak, James O'Shaughnessy, Josh Oliver, these are guys that are more receiving tight ends than blocking tight ends. And the Jags seem to like to use their blocking tight ends more so than receiving tight ends, which is why it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that they have, you know, all these receiving tight ends. I mean, it makes sense at the end of the day that you kind of want to give Nick Foles, the, you know, a lot of targets and a lot of chances to be successful uh, with these guys, but you know, I think he's gonna rely more on these wide receivers because I think there's more depth there. There's more guys that could that have talent. You know, these these tight ends are all like base bronze, base silver, like Madden mutt cards. Like they're nothing. Like there's nothing that any of these tight ends really bring to the table that completely blows me away. Like I said, this is like one of the most boring position groups to talk about. Because there's just not much to talk about there. Like, who's going to be our starting tight end? A lot of people think it's going to be Josh Oliver. I think Josh Oliver hopefully can shine during the offseason, during like the preseason and training camp and things like that, and maybe emerge as that starting tight end that we kind of hope he's going to be. But I think it's going to take a couple of years. I think Josh Oliver is going to be kind of groomed to take that starting tight end spot. But as of, you know, right off the gate, right off the bat, like, I don't see him being. A difference maker. I don't see him being a tight end that is reliable and comes in on every single down. I think they're going to be going with some guys that are more veterans, and that's why I don't even think Jeff Swaim as of right now will get the start. I almost, this may be a hot take. I think the battle as of right now for the starting week one tight end is between Ben Koyak 
and James O'Shaughnessy just because they've been on the team longer. And I know that they have a different offensive coordinator, obviously, with John Day Filippo, but they are very familiar with this Jaguar team and with this Jaguar organization. And it definitely changes as well with the quarterbacks. The quarterback's different too. So, you know, it may be a dumb thing for me to say, but I think as far as Moxie experience and, you know, things like that, I think James O'Shaughnessy and Ben Koyak are both going to be kind of trying to battle for that spot. But that is also kind of a bad take because I think one of them end up getting cut because I think Jeff Swaim is useful in run-first situations. I think he's going to be useful as far as being a blocking downhill tight end, you know, an extra offensive tackle out there. I don't think he's going to be making a difference in the pass game. So I think we keep Jeff Swain for that simple reason and maybe to do some stuff on special teams, maybe. But, you know, he's definitely going to stay on the roster for, you know, blocking purposes, to be that blocking tight end. And I think Josh Oliver stays on the team because we just drafted him and, you know, we need him around to develop and to be an elite pass-catching tight end that we know he can be. And then you got James O'Shaughnessy and Ben Koyak, who I just said I think are competing for that starting spot. But the thing is, they have a lot to lose. They have a lot to lose if they don't end up getting that starting spot. Because whoever loses that competition, I think it's cut. If that makes any sense. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying by this. I think those two have the best chance to start. But I also think those two have the best chance of getting cut as well. I think Swaim and Josh Oliver are both situational tight ends. I don't think they're going to be every down tight ends. I think Ben Koyak or James O'Shaughnessy is going to be getting that type of opportunity. And again, that might be a hot take. You guys might disagree with me. But, you know, it's June 24th, so we need to argue about something. So let's argue about all these below-average tight ends and who we think is going to start next year. Uh, hopefully Josh Oliver, like I said, could kind of come along, develop, be that dude, be a guy we could rely on down the stretch uh, in his career. But I don't think he's going to be a factor this year. already said that. Ben Koyak, James O'Shaughnessy, two guys that have been on the team now for three, four years. You know, I think with that time with the team I think that gives them a better opportunity to be a starter and then we got Jeff Swaim who is a good blocking tight end but doesn't necessarily do a lot for me in the passing game and this tight end group is very very boring to talk about and it's confusing too because I don't know at the end of the day how many tight ends we're going to end up keeping that's why I've been talking about you know these cuts and who we're going to be cutting and it's between Ben Koyak and James O'Shaughnessy I think because I think as far as long term goes you know, you just got these dudes. You just got Jeff Swaim. You just got Josh Oliver. But as far as somebody that you know can come in and start week one, I think Koyak and O'Shaughnessy are both better options than Oliver and Swaim. But I think Oliver and Swaim stay on the roster and one more. You know, whether that be James O'Shaughnessy or Ben Koyak, I think whoever it is, you know, ends up making the team. I think the Jags keep three tight ends this year. I, I think that's a little... It's a little, you know, risky. You know, one guy's probably going to be on the practice squad or something. And, you know, it's just these guys, man. It's not much excitement here. It's the worst position group to talk about. And me and Trey, hopefully, are going to be having a lot better discussion uh, next week or on Wednesday. On Wednesday in our video, you know, I'll try to spice things up and try to get some things to talk about, some good talking points in order for that video to be a little bit longer because I'm just about to wrap this video up and it's only been like eight minutes. So, Treve's hot take about the tight ends. Ben Koyak, James O'Shaughnessy, they're going to be battling for a starting spot, but they're also going to be battling for who ends up getting cut. What do you guys think about the Jaguar tight end position? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button. Make a boy's dream come true. Help me hit 1,000 subscribers before the football season begins. And that was the positional outlook for the tight ends. What would you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new videos on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.